Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to calculate the average distance between molecules in the air, or molecules in any gas for that matter. And so what we need to do is find out the volume of a single molecule, which means we take the volume of a whole molar molecules divided by Avogadro's number, and that gives us the volume of a single molecule. Now, of course, using this volume right here, that's 22.4 liters, we're assuming these are STP conditions. Now, there's a relationship between the volume that a molecule occupies. It's not just the volume of the molecule itself, because that's really tiny, but it's the space around it that it has available to it, on average, compared to all the other molecules. And so we can see then, if we draw a cube around the molecule, then we see that the volume of that cube would be the side cubed. And if we then solve for the side cubed, uh, just the side, that's equal to the cube root of the volume. And, of course, that means that the average distance between molecules would be equal to the, the distance of one of the sides of those cubes. So that means that the average distance between them would be equal to the volume of a single molecule divided by Avogadro. Oh, I'm sorry, the volume of a mole divided by Avogadro's number, but then we take the cube root of that. If we do, we get the distance of 3.34 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Now, how does that compare? to the distance a molecule travels before it collides with another molecule. If we take a look at the previous video, that's the mean free path which we calculated, divided by the average distance, and notice that's a ratio of about 15.6 to 1, which means that a molecule travels a little bit more than 15 times the distance between molecules before it collides with another molecule. Now that is in this particular case, under STP conditions, for other molecules, of course, it may be somewhat different. Different temperature, different pressure, you'll get a different result as well. And of course, some, not all molecule, molecules are the same size either. But it gives you a really good idea how far a molecule travels through a gas before it collides with another molecule. And that is how it's done. 